Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Think outside the bank and go up to Globe Finance. You know, by the way, you know you can pay off your credit card. If your credit card uh, interest rates are too high elsewhere, you know, Globe will give you a much better rate. I think it's 12.5%. That's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah, that's Yeah, good. yeah, yeah. So, you know, you can use Globe to pay off the others, you know, and then pay less per month. How about <laughs> that? True. Sounds good, huh? Solid, yeah, yeah, man. Good morning. Good morning to everyone at Globe Finance this morning. Now, let's go to Alabama. Hey, Alabama, USA, at more. Yeah, well, sorry, I don't want to sound like a Beijing DJ. You know, with my phony American accent. Mm -hmm. um, so when... Uh... <laughs> oh, this is a bad one. This is a bad story. It's this is a bad. funny story. This is a clean, <laughs> That's what clean I mean. yeah. story. This is about the good book. This is, about, this is about the word. This is about the gospel. All right? You have to ingest the gospel. You have to let it sink into your very being. And you have to listen to the word and let the word change you. Yeah, you're hearing me, Crispy. I'm hearing you. Right. I'm hearing you. Are you ready for the word? Sure, I'm ready for it. Give me an amen. Amen. All right. Now, <laughs> it's going to be amen, all right. So when prison staff asked 33-year-old Jeremy Morris if he wanted anything special for his last meal, he answered, I just want a Bible. Uh, that's fair enough. So the prison guards at William C. Holman Correctional Facility thought he wanted to pray and repent for his sins. Heavenly Father, Bless me, Father, for I have sinned, you know, and I've done all these horrible things. I've killed someone, and now I'm going to pay with my life. So they gave him an old copy of the King James Bible. And against all expectations, the condemned murderer began tearing up the holy book and eating it. You see, he really wanted to take in the word, to embrace the word, to take it in, oh, literally boy. and figuratively. It took hours of chewing and swallowing small pieces of paper. But Mr. Morris ate the totality of the 1,200-page book, including the cover. Walter Henri, the prison guard who handed him the old and worn-out Bible, says, The inmate seemed to savor every bite. He kept tearing pieces from his Bible and eating them like they were potato chips. Holman, prison director, Frank Davis says the staff decided to let the prisoner eat the Bible because it didn't violate the establishment's last meal policy. In most states and various countries where the death penalty is still legal, it's customary to give customers uh, sentenced to death a special last meal. Restrictions do apply concerning mostly the leg legality, accessibility, and viability and uh, availability of the, of, of, of the meal and the value, of course. Uh, Mr. Morris chose the meal that was locally accessible and worth less than $40, making it conform to the Alabama Correctional Facility rules. Um, he killed two Catholic nuns back in 2007. Well, you know, they mm -hmm. say that you can repent even at the last moment. So he not only read the good book. He ate it. Well, he decided it wasn't time to read it. So you know what? Let me ingest the word. All right? So he took it all in. Yeah? Maybe a case of a little too little too late. Nonetheless, yeah, very much so. He thought you'd be forgiven now. Yeah, yeah. Man wanted to digest the good word and swallow the word of the Lord. You know, swallow. You know. Yeah, I think I think that's admirable. What do you think? It's a little unconventional. Yeah, it's a bit strange too, but yeah, <laughs> it's very much so. <laughs> I hope he gave an amen at the end, and I hope that he prayed for forgiveness, and I hope that he prayed to enter the pearly gates. But there you have it. That is one of the most bizarre stories I've come across in not necessarily the news brought to you by Globe Finance. Think outside the bank. You're still up? Yes. Uh,